Have you ever wondered what that little button is on the side of the passenger grab rail? Well, that's Honda's answer to providing you with a way to store your helmet. First, you have to locate the helmet hanger, if you haven't lost it already, and you have to then pop out that little button using this silver tab, and it pops out from the passenger grab rail. Next, you have to slip that hanger through the D-ring and then insert that hanger between the seat and the passenger grab rail and then push that button in to lock it into place. Yeah, it works, but it's only good for one helmet and it's really clunky. In fact, as you can see here, your helmet ends up making contact with the painted surface of your saddlebag. Not the best solution. There is a better solution, and it's called lid locks. Lid locks allows you to hang your helmet from the end of your handlebar, and you can mount them on both sides. This locking mechanism is simple to install and even simpler to use, and lid locks makes these for a variety of motorcycles, just about every brand and every model. I'll put links to the Goldwing lid locks in the description of this video. To use lid locks, you insert the key and twist it to unlock it. Then, you just simply slip this little helmet hanger and then push in on the button to lock the mechanism. It's that simple. Of course, you insert the helmet hanger through the D-ring on your helmet and hang it from the lid locks mechanism. And as you can see here, your helmet is not touching the bodywork. To install lid locks, we simply need to remove the bar end weight from the end of the handlebar. Now there's a single JIS screw that holds this in place. And occasionally these are pretty sticky. Uh, they may have some thread lock on them, so it might help if you tap on that screw with a hammer a couple of times just to loosen it. And then remove that screw and remove the bar end weight. Now here you can see there's just a little bit of red thread lock on that screw. Now simply pull out the bar end weight. If you look inside, you'll notice the mounting surface has a little half moon shape, kind of an indention, and there is an adapter in the kit that has that same half moon shape and a hex head on the other end. Line up that adapter so that that half moon fits in place and then place the lid locks body on top of that and insert the provided six millimeter bolt. Use a 5mm Allen wrench to tighten firmly. Now you want to tighten this pretty snug. You don't need to over tighten it and you certainly don't want to use any thread lock on this bolt. You can use the provided wrench to hold that hex adapter in place, that little half moon adapter, as you tighten and tighten it down pretty snug. You want to make note that the slot is facing down. Now we're ready to install the lid locks locking mechanism. It simply screws right into the lid locks body as shown. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and that little notification bell for more videos like this one. You can use one of the provided keys to complete threading the lock mechanism into the body. However, be very careful, it only needs to go in until it's flush with the body. Once you feel it bottom out, that's all you need to do. Do not over tighten. The last step of the installation is to tighten the small set screw underneath. Use the provided Allen wrench to tighten the set screw, but once again, don't over tighten it. You could damage the threads on that lock mechanism. It doesn't need to be that tight. To use lid locks, grab one of the helmet hangers and slip it through the D-ring of your helmet. And then simply slip the other end of the helmet hanger into that slot on the underside of the lid locks. Press the little lock button on the end and it's locked securely into place. Now you have an effective and secure way of storing your helmet on your Goldwing and you don't have to worry about your helmet coming into contact with the bodywork. To remove your helmet, make sure you're holding the helmet with one hand when you unlock the lid locks using the key. And as soon as you do, that hanger will fall right out. Don't forget to check the links in the description of this video if you want to order lid locks for your motorcycle. And if you like this video, click the like button down below and I'll see you on the next Cruise Man's Reviews.